Alright guys, welcome to the part two of my brick wall tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to add graffiti to that wall. The process for adding graffiti to that wall, um, well custom graffiti, is very simple but it is up to creative design so I can't really show you guys what design to make. I recommend you just make a simple design as I did right here. I have a little JC and it is looking good. I haven't added colors yet, but I'm going to do that in just a second. But the process is we're basically going to take the color data of our render and we're going to take the alpha data of our render and basically use that information to paste the little logo that we make right now onto that brick wall. Anyways, I'm going to add the colors and then I'm going to show you guys what to do. There, I officially added color and it definitely doesn't look like the TT logo from the Lego Batman games. Now to set up your camera, press 7 on the numpad and control alt 0 to position your camera on top of your render. Now I already did set up my camera, but make sure your camera's location on the X and Y is 0 and make sure, depending on what you want, I recommend changing the lens type to orthographic and then changing your orthographic scale to position your logo where you'd want. Now, I'm going to change the world background color to something bright so you can nicely see the colors I added on my mini logo. There, that looks good. So now, now before we render this, make sure to go to the render properties, open film, and then check off transparent to get a transparent background. You are now safe to click render. Awesome, it just finished rendering. Now I'm gonna go back to my brick wall project. I'm back to my brick wall project and as you can see, this is a very boring brick wall. So we're gonna add my logo on top of it. To do that, add in a mix RGB node and put it in between the color brick texture and the principled BSDF. Now we just got a faded brick texture. That's not what we want. So go to search. You don't have to go into search. Add in an image texture and load in the logo you just made. Now add in the color of that logo you just made into the second color of the mix RGB. Now it's sort of working, but they're kind of fading into each other and it's going to make some very dark colors. And that's not really what we want. Now the reason we made this transparent is so when I take the alpha of this logo and slap it into the factor here, as you can see, it perfectly overlaps my JC logo on top of the bricks without losing any of the color from either texture. And just like that, we now have added our own graffiti to the brick wall. It's that simple. And I really hope this helps out with your project. I hope it spices up the brick walls that you made. And I really hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. See you guys later.